Hi, I'm Judy Vitale here with your weekly horoscopes at work for May 7th through the 13th, 2012. If you're as tired as the void of course moon as I am, you're going to be glad to hear what I have to offer you this week in terms of news about the planets. There will be far fewer time periods where like everything you do seems to blow up in your face. I've just been struggling making this video and, and I realize now that that's the true message for this coming week. That the planets have moved along so that the great big long day and a half you know, thing where like you can't really do anything productive or that that's going to end. So we're going to have a good week by and large. Not too exciting, but good. Let's start with Monday. We're going to have a Sagittarius moon that puts everybody in a really good mood. But look out because Mars and Neptune are going to be interacting with that moon. And this can lead people to be just a teensy bit deceptive. So if someone's giving you some facts or they're giving you some figures, things might not come out the way that they sound like they're going to in the beginning. And those big figures may not add up right. So... Be very careful. You can be very enthusiastic, but be a little bit skeptical as well. On Tuesday, you can be a little bit less skeptical, but try not to be too gullible because the Sagittarius moon does give us that tendency. But it's not as much of, a, uh, of an atmosphere where you need to, to be careful of things on Tuesday. A short void, of course, period between 9.34 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Time will bring us to the Capricorn moon. On Wednesday, Mercury moves into Taurus. So you know that crazy breakneck kind of pace that we've been on for the past few weeks? I know I have. It is scheduled to slow down a little bit as people become more deliberate about their movements, about their communication, and, you know, it, it, it's good for for doing things that are detail-oriented because people tend to stick with what they're doing until they're done with the project. So that's cool. On Thursday, we're going to have Mercury in a sextile with Neptune, and um, this is our one little void, of course, moon day. And um, that's going to start at 3.11 p.m. And then on Friday, we will have the Aquarius moon at 1.03 a.m. And the weekend looks terrific, especially if you want to have fun with groups of people or you want to go to a festival or an amusement park. The kinds of things that you do is like spring really starts to turn more and more and more towards summer. Gosh, it's a beautiful time of year, and I hope that you're out there enjoying it. So then that brings us to Sunday, which is Mother's Day. Whether you have your mom in your life or not, it's really important to find someone in your life who's like a mom and be appreciative toward this person. It doesn't even have to be a lady. It could be a guy. So all the gifts and the flowers and the candy and all that stuff is really nice, but it's the thank you that we give to others that not only makes them feel good, but it makes us feel good too. Because we understand that no matter how imperfect that person is who's taking care of us, they have also done some things that have made our lives rather wonderful. So I hope that you have a fantastic week. And if you have any questions, comments, or things you'd like to tell me, just send them along to me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.